Who is making that sound? Don't worry, by the end of this video, you will know exactly who. <laughs> Hope you laughed at my stupid joke, and if you didn't, that's okay, because you're still on the video. And today we're gonna learn about owl sounds and also some cool, interesting facts. We're gonna go over the five most common owls that you can find in North America. So let's get into it. <laughs> So this first sound is probably the most famous owl sound in North America. You've probably heard it in movies. And that is a great horned owl. The great horned owl makes this classic sound that kind of sounds like hoo hoo hoo. Hoo, hoo. And here's something that might blow your mind. Great horned owls, as you might've heard, can rotate their heads over 180 degrees, but they're also one of the few predators that will habitually hunt skunks. And they're pretty big for a bird. They can weigh up to three pounds, but they can still fly completely silent because of their specialized soft feathers. And their powerful talons can actually grip with such force that it takes 28 pounds of pressure to pry them open since they've clamped shut with those talons. And this crushing strength allows them to break the spinal cord of sizable prey animals. All right, next up. So let's listen to that again. That is an Eastern screech owl. Now I'm gonna play a song of a different bird. I'll play it again. and that is a western screech owl. So the eastern screech owl's call is best known for its haunting, descending whinny. I kind of think it sounds sort of like a dying horse. And then it's kind of followed by this soft monotone trill. And in contrast, the western screech owl produces a series of evenly spaced accelerating hoots that kind of resembles the sound of a bouncing ball. So they're pretty easy to, to distinguish by ear. They look super similar too. But the thing is, the ranges of these two owls do not really significantly overlap in North America. The eastern lives in the central and eastern part of North America for the most part, and the western, of course, lives out west. And here's a fun fact about eastern screech owls. They deliberately will bring live blind snakes to their nests as housekeepers. So these snakes will eat insect larvae that would otherwise parasitize the owl chicks, and this helps the chicks grow faster and healthier. Now this rhythmic call is unmistakable. It's almost like this owl is asking you a question. And that is the barred owl. Barred owls produce the famous, who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. It's this clear rhythmic eight or nine note pattern. And during courtship, pairs engage in these duets. Do this call, they'll also mix in these cackles and caws. Now, barred owls are unique among owls because they have these really cool aquatic hunting abilities. They can actually wade into shallow water to catch fish, crayfish, amphibians. And listen to this, heavy crayfish consumption can actually turn their underwing feathers pink, just like flamingos get their color from eating shrimp. Now this piercing shriek kind of sounds like it's from a horror movie, but it actually is an owl. It's pretty common and that is a barn owl. And as you heard, barn owls produce this harsh scream that kind of sounds like someone's screaming. And what I think is most fascinating about barn owls is their ability to find prey by sound alone is actually the best of any animal that has ever been tested. They can catch mice in complete darkness hidden by vegetation or snow. Pretty darn cool. Now this repetitive mechanical sound gives this owl its name. That is a northern saw wet owl. The northern saw wet owl's call is repeated monotonous. It's a whistle that gives two notes per second, kind of resembling a saw being sharpened on a whetstone. 
That's how they got their name. And northern sawwet owls are among North America's smallest owls, only between two and four ounces usually, which is about the size of a robin. That is it. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more bird and bird watching content.